Hey everyone, um, I'm making a tutorial on how to put custom themes without using the flash over files in the recovery mode for the, um, the M33 uh, custom firmware. Remember, you're only this for the custom firmware, so don't try it with the, um, don't try it with the original firmware. Anyway, um, in the description, I've, I've provided a few links. One of the links will be, um, one of the links will be uh, like for the the C X M B and the 50 theme complete pack. Okay, if you use it 3.90, download the 3.90 version. So once you download, it will take you to this page and just download the files and also download the the themes, the 50 theme complete package. I've already downloaded them, so yeah. Okay, once you downloaded, uh, put your PSP into USB mode. Mine's really, my PSP is really in USB, right? I'll just put it to the closest so you can see. Hold on. Okay, as you can see here, um, this is the root of the memory stick, okay? The, um, the C, X, and B files you download for your, your firmware, you, there will be, um, two, um, two folders there. The C, X, and B, and the SC plugins. What you do is you put both those folders, into the root of your memory stick. So put like it's put both in the root of your memory stick. Okay? And after you the other folder, so I mean the the other file, which would be the the themes, the fifty themes pack, what you do is you go to PSP Hold on a second, I'll open it up. Okay, once Okay. This is the um the fifty themes complete pack. So we just go on, just go on MSO, and you see um, these files here. Just get the PSP one, open up the PSP one, and add the theme pack. Put the theme pack into the PSP folder in uh, the PSP folder onto your um, PSP. And inside we have um, inside we have all the themes. So these are all the 50 themes. Okay, so we'll just do that right now. Okay, once you've done that, what you want to do is, mm. hold on, okay, what you do is just get your PSP and take it out of um, USB mode, just turn your PSP, uh, put your PSP into recovery mode, to put your PSP into recovery mode, hold the R button and, and the turn on button. Hold the iron and turn on. It will come up with the screen like this. I don't know if you can see that properly. But anyway, uh, you have to go into plugins, which is the third last one there. So let's go down to the bottom. Plugins. And there, it should have this um, file there called cxmb.prx and in brackets vsh. What you want to do is go down and enable it. I've already got mine enabled, so. Um, you just click the enable, it might already enabled. Let's go back. Then go exit. And the PSP should restart. After that, you'll have all the custom themes there. Let's, um, to get to the custom themes, just go to your themes. And should have all your themes here. So you've got the original ones there. All themes are this is like the um the Halo theme, the Xbox 360 theme, the Mac Vista theme. They've got all sorts of themes. And uh, the good thing about this, you don't have to use a flash show file, so like it's really safe. And what I've heard, I don't think you can brick your PSP. I'm pretty sure you can't. If you brick your PSP from the Windows, you possibly did something wrong. I'm pretty sure you can't even brick your PSP if you're just doing this, doing this. Yeah, so. Icons will change, different fonts, the battery will be different, my batteries are over there. Uh, also, the cool thing about this is when you start your game up, I have a different like start up. So when I start up my game, I start up like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video.
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you need any help, just uh, leave a comment, ask, and I'll probably explain it more in a specific way so I can help you out. Uh, comment right, thanks.